Hi there and welcome to another video. Now about 15 months or so ago on the community tab of my channel I posted an idea I had which I've never really looked into until very recently about using my uh, mobile mount, in this case a mag mount, to run a longer wire say up a pole or to a nearby tree in order to maximise my efficiency if you like when operating static, in this case portable. Now there have been other videos uh, discussing the concept of this, but I thought I'd have a go at uh, putting it together and see how it worked. In this case, I used a 10 meter long wire, about 33 feet, which was uh, basically attached to a pair of binding posts uh, via my uh, mag mount on my car roof, and it sloped gently upwards to near the top of a 12 meter fiberglass pole, which was attached to my drive-on mount. It was in the sleeve, actually, of my drive-on mount. And this configuration is obviously a quarter way for 40 metres, give a pretty good tune, uh, SWR of 1.5, 1.6 to 1 across the band, and also a pretty good SWR under 2 to 1 on 15 metres. And of course, on 15 metres, it would be a three-quarter wave. Now, sadly, 15 metres was closed when I tried this at, the, at my local spot, but uh, 40 was open, so let's see how well the antenna did. So I'm up to my uh, local quiet spot today and uh, decided to do a bit of an experiment, which I'll show you in a minute, to try and increase my uh, efficiency on 40 meters whilst working portable. So uh, let me show you what I've done. So here's the feed point. You can see the binding post on top of the, uh, plugged into the, the mag mount there. Notice there's no, uh, no earth connection. We're using the, uh, the metal roof of the car, but there's the wire going up from near the hot side, going up to near the top of the 12 meter fiberglass pole. A very gentle sloper, if you like there. And uh, you can see it was, uh, wasn't a very sunny day, but it was okay for radio, that's the main thing. And uh, not too blustery. And there's the wire coming back down. And here's a closer look at the feed point itself. Germany 5 Tango Mike Portable, uh, great signal, you're 5 and 9. Yes, you're 59 as well. Nice to meet you this morning and thank you for putting the activation on. Name is Tim Tango India Mike. And I'm in uh, Arundel, West Sussex, running portable QSL. Yeah, QSL. No problem, Carl. Thank you for that. And yes, go and get your tea or coffee. No problem, mate. And I'll wait for uh, for the other station to, to come back to me. Uh, 73, Carl. All the best and good to work you again. M0ICR, G5TM Portable. Take care. Morning. Nice to work you into into uh, the Netherlands, and I wish you well for a nice weekend, my friend. Papa Delta Zero, Charlie Quebec, Golf Five, Tango Mike Portable, seventy three. Yeah, okay, yeah, Tim. Golf Five, Tango Mike Portable, Germany Five, Tango Mexico Portable, CQ forty. Echo India is Bravo Lima, Bravo. Echo India Lake, Bra sorry, Echo India Lake, Bravo Lima, Bravo. Thank you for the call. You're fifty nine down to the south coast. Name is Tim, Tango India Mike, over. Yeah, fine, uh, Tim. Uh, lovely signal uh, from you also. Into the southeast coast of Ireland. P Golf 8 Alpha Lima Sierra G8ALS calling you, boy. Yeah, QSL G8ALS. Good morning. You're 56 here to Arundel in West Sussex. Name is Tim Tango India Mike. QSL. Uh, QSL Tim, you're 5 and 7, 5 and 7 into uh, Coventry on the 9 is Mike. Um, a very good morning. Station Mike Victor again. Papa Alpha One, Mike Victor. <laughs> Papa Alpha One, Mike Victoria, five and nine. Germany Five, Tango Mike Portable, CQ forty. Yeah, okay, Keith, uh, G0CUT, G5TM Portable. Very fine, Keith. I'm in West Sussex, West Sussex, near the town of Arundel, Alfa Romeo Uniform November Delta Echo Lima. 
running 100 watts here into a quarter wave uh, sloper for uh, 40 meters. And it's a, a, an overcast day here, but dry at least, Keith. G0CUT, G5TM portable. So it worked pretty well. The band wasn't in great shape, to be honest, but I made plenty of contacts sort of around the UK and into Ireland and into Northern Europe, as you heard. Now, um, the antenna would probably work better if I had maybe two uh, sort of um, elevated radials, if you like, uh, at 180 degrees from each other. Uh, gives a bit more of a better ground, I think, definitely, than the, the bodywork and the single magma I used. Um, I could also put this more as a, a, a a sharper sloper if you like or maybe horizontal sloping up very very gradually uh, which would probably give me a little bit better performance at the higher angles for the shorter uh, distance contacts but don't forget of course when you use a small or fairly small mobile whip a two meter three meter long mobile whip on 40 meters well that's a vertical it's a loaded vertical uh, base loaded or center loaded however you're doing it um, so this antenna is clearly going to be more efficient it's a full-size quarter wave and uh, frankly, I think it did a pretty good job. How much more efficient is it than, a, say, a mobile whip? I would think at least six to maybe 10 dB. I think it's it's quite a difference. Um, it's certainly punched out pretty well. Conditions are pretty poor. Um, I think it performed pretty well, to be perfectly honest with you, even with pretty high ground resistance, given the fact we were just using a single mag mount and the bodywork of the car as ground. Um, I still think it's going to be a lot more efficient, a heck of a lot more efficient than, say, a two or a three metre long whip antenna using the same sort of ground. So um, all pretty good, of course, with better bonding, uh, more permanent mount in the centre of the roof. Um, I'm sure it'll do a lot better again. But don't forget, this is just an improvement on the system I've been using with quite a bit of success, really, up until now. So that worked pretty well. What's next? Well, I'm going to try an NFED half wave next in a similar configuration, probably using a similar sort of length of wire for 20 metres. So we're going to try that one. And after that, I'm going to show you how to use a non-resident system using the same sort of mount. We're taking the Ribicoff away from being a ground mounted antenna to being a, uh, an antenna, which in this case would be mounted close on two metres above the ground. So we're going to try that out as well with a uh, shorter length of wire than the one we just used. So stick around for those. I'll be bringing those out over the next few days. And uh, I really did enjoy trying those out too. So uh, some interesting experiments. So there you go. A fairly efficient system. It doesn't require any sort of horizontal space. I seem to do okay. Uh, if you've got any other thoughts or comments, or you've done something similar yourself, then pop them in the comments section below. I'd be quite happy to hear from you. Uh, if you want to click subscribe, then there'll be something up there. And there'll be another video coming up over there somewhere. Take care. We'll catch you soon for the next one in a few days' time. Bye-bye.